On November 16, 1989, the camera-shy pop star left Neverland to pay a surprise visit to the Arsenio Hall Show. Michael Jackson! As if you didn't know it. TV viewers and Arsenio's dog pound were awestruck. Michael made the late-night cameo to pay tribute to his friend, funny man, Eddie Murphy. We have something that we'd like to present to Eddie, and I'll let Michael tell you the rest. Presented to the king of comedy, Eddie Murphy, the greatest comedian of all time, the king. The magic moment wasn't finished. Eddie had a surprise in store for Michael as the surreal celebrity love-in continued. We, we have something we got to give you. This, wait, wait a minute. Just wait. Right Michael Award. Wait. Go kid. Well, stay with Michael. Don't leave. Oh, okay. Okay. MTV sent this over. I don't know if you know about this, viewers, but... The Viewer's Award for Michael Jackson for the greatest video in the history of all videos thrilling. Oh, Michael comes out, um, you know, sort of supporting cast almost, but he is acting himself, um, you know, sort of just being a person, and he just seems so shy, and it's painful to watch. Michael's surprise visit was an unusual spontaneous moment for the pop titan and a huge thrill for TV viewers lucky enough to tune in. Eddie Murphy and Michael Jackson being on the same show was huge at that point. They were both hugely popular, and to have them come on together is just an amazing, you know, moment in pop culture. Michael Jackson, Eddie Murphy! It was straight out of a showbiz fairy tale. On Hollywood's hottest night, Michael Jackson stunned 76 million TV viewers by taking a very special date to the 1991 Academy Awards, Madonna. Seeing, um, you know, Madonna and Michael Jackson together, and it was the freakiest thing in the world, but it also made a lot of sense in a weird way, because it was like, here are these two huge pop stars, and they're showing up together. It's an unexpected pairing. People hadn't seen them together before, but the rumors start. So automatically, they generate all this sort of publicity for themselves because, oh, are they dating? What's going on with Michael Jackson and Madonna? Everybody wants to know. Madonna had on kind of a white evening dress, and Michael had on kind of like a white tuxedo, and it was like weird, like they were going to get married. <laughs> Viewers at home wondered how two of the most outrageous personalities in pop hooked up. The answer was pretty simple. Michael was like, well, who are you going to go with? And I said, I looked at him and I said, I don't know, you want to go? He gives me fever. And he said, yeah, that'd be great. When the award show was over, the couple sent the paparazzi into overdrive, turning up arm in arm at an after party. And the fun didn't end there. And then, yes, he took me home. <laughs> now, what do you want to know what happened after that? I'm not going to tell you. unprecedented primetime simulcast on November 14, 1991 at 8.25 p.m., MTV, BET, and Fox premiered Michael Jackson's video, Black or White. An estimated 15 million tuned in. There was no escaping Black or White. I, mean, I would have to be locked up in a chestnut in order not to, to, to know that the Michael Jackson video was, was out. Like previous Jackson epics, Black or White was produced as a mini-movie rather than a mere music video. The 11-minute feature began with then-popular kid star Macaulay Culkin. Black or White was the first video release from Jackson's much-anticipated Dangerous album. The pressure was on Jackson for a stellar follow-up to Thriller. you agree with me when I saw you kicking dirt in my eyes? The video reunited Jackson with Thriller director John Landis. Michael tends to be real ambitious. Michael likes lots of stuff. Landis, a big fan of special effects, chose one that would leave its mark, the face morph. <laughs> it's like, gee, Mike, uh, can we do something a little less expensive? In the video, Michael tours the globe, bringing messages of peace and denouncing bigotry. Michael's positive message was lost in the video's unexpected and disturbing finale. 
For four minutes, the king of pop launched into a rampage. An unsettling mix of violence and sexual expression, breaking car windows, smashing storefronts, and grabbing his crotch. We were shooting this number, and all of a sudden, Michael started fondling himself and did this movement that was like, cut! What the f was that? I love doing dance numbers where I could just create anything. In the dance, I said, I want to do a dance number where I can just let out my frustration about, you know, injustice and prejudice and racism and bigotry. And within the dance, I just became upset and I let go. The networks were bombarded with hundreds of complaints from outraged viewers. Overwhelmed by the public outcry, Jackson released this statement. I deeply regret any pain or hurt that the final segment of Black or White has caused children, their parents, or other viewers. Jackson recut the video, removing the erotic, violent finale. The kinder, gentler version airs to this day.